Hello and welcome! The stream is on! I was supposed to play Zenless, not gonna lie. But then I decided, you know what? I think tomorrow they will be working on the servers in Genshin, so that would mean tomorrow. Tomorrow we would not be able to sit to it, which I don't know if I will anyway. But you know, tomorrow I will not be able to sit to it, so we'll progress a little bit of the world quests as per usual. As per usual, lately. We'll do some world quests and we'll see where this is all going. Today also finished, finally finished the upload of If My Heart Had Wings, so feel free to check this out on YouTube if you like visual novels. Um, all in all, I think a game that was released a bit later was a little better. Yeah, A Sky Full of Stars probably was better. Then again, I still have my to play Flight Diary. So, maybe I'll change my mind. You never know. Ooh. Yellon. Yellon artwork. Alright, never mind. Um. Ooh, a Makima artwork. Alright. Uh, bookmarked <laughs> for a future download. Hmm. Polish memes, blah blah blah, whatever. Um, actually, w uh, what was the name of the quest? I might as well just drop this into the title, right? The vital of this to him. Mm. Aque Aqueous Tide Mar Tide Marks. Alright. This is the continuation of the set quest. Uh, by chance I clicked on that timeline so might as well just play pause this music and we are jumping to it also let me get some in-game sounds to the max also my pc is going wild as per kind of usual i guess it's gotten also warmer now today oh pom 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 okay also updates, updates. Okay, Aquos tide marks defeat a ruin guard and so on. Actually, I probably should still keep the browser on on the site, considering uh, we do have to collect some stuff on the way, sort of. I did run around around a little bit on my own as well. To collect stuff, except for um, you know, progressing further ahead, that is something I have not done. That is actually something I have not done at all. <sighs> How is this guy with us? I don't remember. I maybe I do remember. Meh. Boop. Proceed a deeper. According to my research, this should be treasure vault of the Lila Cruz's form. The riches we seek should be within. Wow, a treasure vault! Uh, doesn't look like a vault at all. Paimon thought the vault would be full, full of glittering golden morning, da as dazzling as the sun. You should know, my dear friends, that just as truly wealthy do not flaunt it in anything as shallow as appearances. Real treasure. Oh, oh, Paimon knows what we're about to say. The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. No, no. Uh, I mean, I was about to say that real treasure is not so easily revealed. But you're also exactly right, Paimon. I have to say, 
I could have never come up with something so wise and philosophical. No, 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 no. That's not how we are going to play that. No, 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 no. I want the treasure. Regardless, the purpose of our expedition is to uncover the treasure the Institute has hidden away for centuries. And I'm convinced beyond a shadow of doubt that the treasure is hidden in this room. So let's hurry up and get in there and find it. Oh, 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 I noticed it now. That is a little bit like slightly. <sighs> now we are back home. Kind of. Ah, uh, are you sure? Paimon doesn't see anything in there besides a few broken ruin mechanisms. Your words won't be my friend. We're the partners who are seeking the Institute's long lost treasure together. Do you really doubt me? Yes, from the very beginning. Okay, so this is... So is this a forum or an institute? Oh, but that, let's just say that different records refer to differently. But my dear Lumina, the name isn't the important thing. We should keep our eyes on the prize. What we are talking about isn't merely a matter of hundreds or thousands or even millions of mora, but a vast secret trove of hundreds of millions of mora sleeping within the vault. So say billions. Hundreds of millions of mora, so billions! And there are other priceless items in the vault too, like uh, there is the all powerful Lila Crux's holy sword. I want it. Which can pierce to armor and destroy the soul itself. I want it. A magical item powerfully beyond compare. Oh, Paimon had no idea. And it's all in this vault? Oh, precisely. And if you ask me, every moment that he spent wandering here increases the rescue of us being beaten to a treasure by all sorts of scrupulous, scrupulous ruffians who will stop at nothing to steal it. So you, basically. I don't trust this guy from the very beginning, man. We can let it happen. It's our treasure. See, you get me. But in that case, look at the Paimo. Please go forth and recover treasure. I'll make sure to watch the rear. Let's just go, what's the worst that could happen, I guess. <laughs> what are you saying, Lumina? If we don't beat the bad guys to the treasure, they might try to take it from us, or force us to split it with them. I'm not worried about that. Uh, if I understand, you're worried that the vault might be protected by some sort of mechanisms, right? Yeah, there's all this trouble. Virgil. What's wrong, Lumina? Don't do anything that I wouldn't do. Don't worry, I, I won't let the one get through. Uh, oh, and please let me know when you find the treasure. No, we will not. It's our treasure. Come on, Virgil, you haven't done anything in this quest. Everything has been done by yours truly, so... No, we will not inform you. We'll get out from here with the treasure, and we'll give nothing to you. <laughs> That's right, Virgil. That's because I don't trust you in the slightest. Hey, Virgil. Found the treasure. Here is your hundred mora. The Lacrosse Forum really did a lot of research, didn't they? We saw so many cameras along the way. They were probably used to record the results of their experiments, right? And there's also a notebook here too, let's see, let's see. Yep, 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 yep. It's hard to make out a lot of words. It says, when something goes out of control, break something else, something, something, so damage can be controlled. Something, some, 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 something. Cool. I learned a lot from what you told me, Paimon. Something, something, something. Something, something. And also something, something. Something, something, something. That's what I'm talking about. Honestly, I just want artifacts. Because <laughs> the amount of mora we get out of this is like close to nothing. I'm just good with getting some mora, to be honest. The 
this machine? Why does it look kind of familiar? I think we've seen it before. Well, since this order brought all kinds of mechanics from the other nations to this place, there's probably something they hold over from distant ruin as well. Yeah, it seems familiar. Well, Pemon just got a really scary thought. What if this so good treasure is just research findings? It has nothing to do with pies of Mora at all? Yeah, you're right, Lumina, but Pemon still wants Mora. If we get hundreds of millions of Mora, we could build a pretty house and invite all our friends over. Just eating great food and having fun day after day. I mean, we have that already, to be fair. I know what's your big deal, I mean, We have that already. In the teacup. Ah, I'm sure hopes this ruin thing isn't going to suddenly stand up. It's just a ruin garter, we can handle it. I must not worry about being s you being strong enough. I must just care that you'll break the treasure in the middle of the fight. We don't even know if there is a treasure here to break. There has to be. There, there is, right? Who knows? There is a glass wall here. It seems like there is a bunch of water behind it. Look, look, there are cracks in the glass. Ah, that looks dangerous! If the glass side breaks, who knows where we'll get swept off to? Let's find the treasure quickly and get the heck out of here! And that's when... ...something will switch on. I feel like... Hey? What, what was that sound? That was so very suspicious! Paimon is scared! <laughs> Lumina! Virgil, what's going on, you bastard? I'm so very sorry. I made a terrible mistake. It was under our expedition that I realized that this wasn't the former grounds of the Lacris Forum, but rather the ruins of the Institute of Natural Philosophy. You son of a... There is no treasure here, but there are lots of experiments on machinery and energy. And now, my dearest friends, another experiment, e experiment is about to begin. As for, <coughs> as for treasures, you'd be wrong to say there aren't any little here. As seasoned adventurers, I'm sure you've accumulated quite a bit of more and other precious items over the course of your journey. I will return after the conclusion of the experiment this, to collect the treasures you are sure to leave behind. Ah, oh, and don't you worry, my friends, I'll be sure to put them to good use. <laughs> Virgil, you bitch! You lied to us! <sighs> Figured he was going to do something like this. I told you, I told you as well. So you knew, and still decided to step into my trap. You're the kind of person I despise the most. So arrogant and disdainful. How dare you? You blasted fools all treat me like an idiot, cause you are. Even a couple of foreign hill <laughs> Whatever, according to the records here, the machine is special ruin guarder. A uh, grader. No matter how good you are, even if you can handle ruin guards, you are still only made of flesh and bone. As to what makes it special, I'll leave you to find out in your own good time. Goodbye, my dear partners. Go freak yourself, Virgil. Fuck's sake. A mosquito. Now that's an opponent that is a problem. Ah, Lumine, get ready! Fight and survive! Hello! Oh, level 89? Not much of an opponent, if I have to be honest. Oh, it's regenerating. God damn it. I will bring your break your ankles when you get up. Yeah. We can do this too. Oh, that's a cheatsy attack, man. I freaking knew you would do that. I didn't. But it's a cheatsy attack. <laughs> Thank you. I'm 
Breaker. How do I bring the glass one for? Don't tell me to cancel the entire battle now. Oh, I would be so pissed. Try to bring the last bar. I mean, I did already. Come on. The only thing that Lumina and Paimon has to be wary of is to just not get hit by the glass falling out of that. To be quite fair. Things like this underwater. Is it going to speed us up or slow down? Speed us up. All right. Higher, lower, and off we go. Lower, a little higher. I couldn't even tell you if this is the same route that we've come through. Would be nice if Virgin just drone. Look, Paimon sees the light! Paimon, don't go towards the light, come on. Aleta Submarine something. Yeah, this is a different area, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it is a little different. <sighs> Luxurious chest, you say, game. Luxurious chest. And that luxurious chest, it... It's something I thought I picked up, but apparently I didn't. But I still marked it as already collected. Whoopsie. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine, I guess. Hmm... 93% to 100 here, supposedly. I mean, there is still stuff that I haven't picked over there. And I guess... Uh, okay, this is not doable yet, sort of. We could do this, but I don't feel like it. Should we do the Archon quiz? Or should we maybe do... Oh, I know what. 
You see, there is something suspicious happening over here. I did run here to collect something, I think, or whatever. And it triggered a little cutscene. Someone is preparing for like a birthday party. And they sort of are like, no, I have something else to do. Puka, about what you said earlier? Oh, that, that was supposed to be secret. You can tell anyone else, not even Stugasi. Don't worry about the thing, we definitely won't tell anyone else. We just want to help you prepare. Two extra helpers will get it, uh, help get things ready faster, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure it would be a big help. Hey, right, so what do you need, to do, need us to do? Hey, the other ingredients are pretty easy to prepare, but we still need that white and sweet thing. White and sweet... Dude, that f freaking mosquito is like, basically... Flying around like Paimon will and Lumina were swimming earlier, but it's like over the monitors. <laughs> it's pissing me off. Hey, you mean sugar? No, no, that sugar is dangerous. Eating it just once will make you always want to eat it. In the end, you will get around and starve. Yeah, Americans. Just like, just like Paimon. My money isn't round! I mean... Uh... Anyway, absolutely no sugar. I almost fell into its sweet trap in the past. We can't let the same thing happen to Serene. But what else is with, uh, white and sweet besides sugar? <laughs> flour, perhaps? Hey, how's flour supposed to be sweet? No, wait! You can taste the sweetness you've sampled for long enough. Well, I'm referring to flour. First we'll need to make it round, then we bake it till it's tasty and crispy. But I've used up all my flour, and Xana doesn't have any. Either, we'll need to go out and get more. No problem, leave it to us. Let me let's check we're carrying any flour. Just 45 of it. Oh, thanks, Miss Lumina. Thanks, Paimon. This way we can make some delicious flatbread. Oh, Paimon can wait. Whee! Cannot heal. Ah, Miss Lumina. So, about those new pages. Hey, come on. Enough about pages. Are you trying to make the dish and prepare the relevant ingredients for it? Yeah, well, since you've overheard, I suppose there really is nothing for it. You two must be included in this as well. A question, if I may. Miss Lumina, what ingredient symbolizes birth to you? Please, let's not talk about this. Something that bestows life and represents newborn. I believe you know what I'm looking for, yes? Like a bear deck? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Sharp as always, I see. I suppose you can see the rap too, can't you? Women zines have short arms and can't climb trees well, so it will be very troublesome for one of us to get any bird eggs. Don't worry, leave it to me. Anyway, I'll leave this to you, alright. Have you ha, have you a bird egg with you? Yeah, but technically I need them for the recipes now. I have, I think, two recipes which are not much out. And I need a ton of bird eggs, but they refuse to sell for them. Thanks, Miss Lumina. I'm sure that Serene will be happy too. Thanks, I'll go prepare the ingredients now. Alright, alright, you got this! Vernata. I tell you are Vernata! Ech, hey there, Lumina and Paimon. Eh, what do you need from me? Well, this has to do with what you were all chatting about earlier, about preparing food for Serene. Shh! No, wait, please stop talking! We we want to make a surprise for Serene and don't want anyone else to know, not even Carbos. Don't worry, we won't tell a soul. We just want to help you repair. This will make things easier for you too, right? Hmm, you two are pretty reliable. If that's the case, uh I have a favor to ask. The dish we're trying to make usually uses fish. But Lutine told me that the outside world has something called bacon and that it tastes delicious. Monsieur Neville has also enjoyed it before. So I think that if we can get some bacon, we might be able to cook something incredible. Just like Carabos always says knowledge is power. 
from Taney's bacon. He? Anyway, don't worry about it. We've got this bacon thing down pat. This bacon that Lutina mentioned. I wonder what it is. It's this. Mmm. I haven't had bacon in a while. I I should go and buy some now. Like during the day. Now kinda impossible, unfortunately. Yeah, man, I wish we had like a 24 per 7 shop, market, whatever. Oh, so this is bacon. Thanks a lot, Lumine Paimon. Still, it's a bit different from what I imagined. Don't you worry, bacon tastes good, no matter how you prepare it. Unless it's charcoal, so no. Really? I don't quite get it, but I'll do my best. Yeah, this one the ingredients for the dish should be ready. Hey, hey, you really are awesome, Miss Lumine. All right, we'll leave the cooking to you, Varinata. All right, you can count on me. I've learned the greatest, bestest, most powerfulest cooking methods from Carabos and Lutina. You got this. Carabos once said that the most important thing in cooking is vigor and the will to never give up. Oof. We must never surrender to the ingredients, no matter what. This style of cooking is already entirely different from what I'm most familiar with. No worries, no worries. Nothing will go wrong. Nothing will go wrong. Probably. Probably. Under your supervision, Verenata gathers two pieces of flatbread, seven fishes, the cooked bear duck, and slides back on before throwing them all into the pot and once and string away with focus and gusto. This really doesn't seem like the way flatbread is cooked, but it's too late to stop the process at this point. Mmm, there we go. All done. Easy peasy. Oh, it looks... Uh, uh, oh, it looks very good. I think Serene will definitely be pleased. Of course! Why? I'm already super happy. Anyway, we should also thank Miss Lumina for helping us match such a wonderful meal. Eh... I was gonna ask just in case... But what is this? Who? Oh, haven't you seen... Poisho Shound pie before, Paimon? He? That sounds... and looks like you'd use it to cast some kind of forbidden magic or something. He? Why? <laughs> That looks like death itself. It just should be purple, basically. I would not want that, I'm not gonna lie. Those fish... Heads? Problem. Well, you're the one who called it Poison Shao. Also, look at all those fish heads. Hey, they're so cute, right? They look just like a core in a picture book, with everyone holding their heads up high and singing happily. Which part of the dish even remotely looks like what you're talking about? Hey, since neither of you have seen a poison champagne before, then maybe we should give you two a serving first. You both were a big help after all. I mean, you look after us just like Miss Serene does. <laughs> I'd say that Serene's a bit nosier and nosier at times. Actually trying to help when you don't need it. That's just the way she is. But either way, Miss Lumi and Paimon are better at caring for people. Anyway, we would like to... The two of you to accept our goodwill. <laughs> awesome. This looks delicious. Hey, Lumine, you can be serious, right? Hey, hey, you look so happy right now, Miss Lumine. Alright, let's go give the boy Sushan pie to Serene. Okay, let's go. Wait, this really be okay. Look for Serene together with everyone else. Well, I suppose this should be fine now. Oh, hello there, Lumine. Paimon. Is there something you need? Eh, uh, what are you doing, Serene? Oh, are you talking about this thing? Well, Xana accidentally broke the water bottle she usually carries with her, so I came by to try and fix it. So, Lumine and Paimon, do you need your help with something? Ah, uh, do you remember what day it is? Hmm. Come to think of it, today's the day that I will need to submit a report to Monsieur Villette. That's not what we're talking about. Seriously, you should consider yourself more girl. It's your birthday, you know. Come, everyone, all together now. Happy birthday! Hey! <laughs> Lumina helped us prepare a totally unique poison shunt pie for your birthday. This is all for the time you've spent taking care of us, and for all the help 
Uh, your help when I was trying to communicate with Mr. Chazil. Well, you're really noisy sometimes, but as long as you don't suddenly pop in and interrupt my thoughts, you're welcome to be even louder if you want. Hi, everyone. Come on, that's no way to look at your old birthday. Anyway, if we don't eat the poison chan chai, poison chan pie we spent so long preparing, soon you will get cold. Come, let's eat. You too, Miss Lumina. Bye, man. My taste buds were born for such an adventure. Wait, how does this count as an adventure? How does it not? You enjoyed the strange pie with the melusines. For it looks rather strange, the taste isn't as bad as you expected. On the contrary, it's quite delicious. So long as you can stomach the stares of the fish heads, their eyes still gleaming with a strange light. Yeah, that's the tough, that's the weird part. Hey, it tastes pretty good! Another! Ah, but we don't have any more. If you're still hungry for, we can make more together in the future. Come on, make a wish and make sure it's wish for yourself. Well, if that's the case, my wish has already come true. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Lumina, you Paimon. I have a recipe for this thing. Nice. What's up, Sadio? I do not... I feel like I talked with everyone here, but we might as well skip through the dialogues. Lutin! It never local specialities introduce you to think Steambert. Come up with a new dish, Silhouette. Hit me with it. Hello. How are you doing? Earthquake? I didn't know you can get something from them. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow. Sure is taking its switch task with time, the interactive map. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we ask about this? Let me think. I don't think there is anyone who needs the help. Thanks to you. Thank you so much. Oh my, I'm so good. <laughs> I'm so good at helping people. What's up, Flo? Thank you for saving her. Yay! Hmm. What's up, Rufino? What's up, Verenata? And so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, we're finished sort of fair. Uh, except for this. But to do that, I need... Uh, one of those. Which I do not have yet, really. Okay, should we make once again a run around for world quests? It's maybe something unlocked? Or is it a stupid thing to do? I like doing stupid things. Ah. Actually, didn't I run around? I did run around already, uh, on my own, that's true. Um, however, I'm curious if, did, if this asshole will maybe be here. Oh. 
<laughs> you son of a gun, I knew you would be here. You think you could have stopped us like that, huh? You punk. You son of a gun. Oh, no, that's someone else. No, it's him, right? It's that asshole Virgin. Virgin. Virgil. Who cares? Same person, really. But we have a world quest, so... Now it's the most splendid meeting, won't you agree, my dear Luca? Hmm... Who are you? Sony. Apologies, look at me, beginning conversation without even trust myself. I'm Sony, the one um, they sometimes call the White Glove. My friend here is Luca, the fisherman. He's pretty famous in certain circles. Never heard of him. Ah, hello, Paimonis! It was alright. I know that you are Pime and this blonde traveler is Lumina. Oh, you know us already? Oh, of course, it's just that before today, my knowledge of you was much like my knowledge of the Chief Justice. In other words, I knew of you, but you did not know of me. With your fame and accomplishments, it's unnatural that use of your rough out reach us as soon as you step foot in Fontaine. We, we're that famous? Ah, you're too humble. How should I put it? Hmm, to certain people, your arrival in Fontaine would be as if someone had just set off a bomb on a stage of Opera Epicles. Of course, I mean this only most positive way. Don't you agree, Mirdi Luca? Eh? But how can a bomb going off ever be a good thing? Uh, I'm not getting very good with words. How would you put it, my dear Luca? Lini and Lynette's magic show. Blasting everything wide open to accomplish the impossible. Spine tingling experience. Lynette agree. Lini not really. Precisely. See, I would have never thought of it like that. If you say so. Why do you call the white glove for? I mean, doesn't see a glove at all. Oh, now that's a hard question. How should I explain? Imagine, if you will, that you're wearing a white glove. If something dirty were to get on your hands, then a dark mark would be left on the glove. My duty would be to find the dark mark and remove it from the view. Hmm? So you're something like a cleaner? Exactly, my dear Paimon. See, I was never able to succinctly summarize the nature of my work. Ah, so people like you are the reason why the streets of the Court of Fontaine are always so well kept and tidy? Ho 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 ho, that's what I like to hear. You, yes, you may understand it like that. Okay, that makes sense to Payon, but why would a cleaner need a knife? You may think of it as a small tool of the trade that we bring out when there are marks that are particularly hard to remove. Got it, thanks. So is your friend Luca here? Luca the fisherman, because he's really good at fishing? Mm, that's only part of the story, I'm afraid. See, there are many kinds of fish in Fontaine as well. And look at here is really experienced at teaching people to spend some quality time with all the different kinds of fish. Am I right, my dear Luca? Hmm. Hey, Paimon does get it. If that's the case, then... I must say, dear Paimon, you've really got a knack for asking the most difficult and fascinating questions. It m would be most wonderful if we could have a longer conversation. Where I would be able to answer everything to your full satisfaction. <sighs> Anything we can help with... You see, we're extremely intrigued by the practice of diving. Fontaine's waters are full of uh, priceless treasures, left by nature and our ancestors alike. We heard that you had made a good friend recently and even went for a dive with him. Your power powers were such that you didn't even need to use any diving equipment. Isn't that right, my dear Luca? Hmm. You want to ask about Virgil, huh? Oh, yeah, we want to ask about Virgil. Virgil, the trial, liar and traitor! Ah, just remember he makes Paimon mad! You recount the experiences to Sony, the White Glove, and Luca, the Fisherman. Oh, I see, I see. Thank you for telling us all of this. You're welcome. <laughs> Pam hasn't forgotten a single thing about that guy. We are, of course, exceedingly grateful that you are willing to share the whole story with us. However, for my own perspective, I am even more relieved that you do not consider Virgil to be a friend. If that can be the case. Hmm, maybe I can put it like this. Had you seen him as a friend, things would have become quite awkward for both of us. Isn't that right, my dear Luca? It could make things difficult. For the two of you, obviously. Agree, agree. Thanks so much. What are you talking about? They are Virgil's enemies. Oh! 
Your words won't be my lovely lady. If many friends are not single enemy, Virgil is just one of my many friends. And ah, uh, speaking of him, I think it's about time we have a serious talk with him. So, surely you understand what I mean, dear Lumina. Of course, it's also the so that we can get back at him for what he's done to you. It's the least we can do for our older guests, don't you think? Eh, yeah, Paimon is lost. <sighs> it's okay to not understand everything, Paimon. Life can often become extremely boring when you understand everything in this world. Is that right, my lovely lady? We've already found the stronghold of Virgil and the rest of his friends. Why don't we meet up there? Uh, why do we also need to go? My lovely lady, with how much Virgil was wrong to you, you cannot possibly have our conversation with him without informing you of our plans beforehand. See, Luca agrees as well. Eh, uh, Paimo wants to talk to Virgil though. He has to make a formal apology to us. <laughs> you are too kind. Let's meet up at our destination. I wonder if they are in, like, Mafia. To be honest, I would not be surprised. Ooh, interesting location. That's their place? Didn't expect that. Burning. You don't want to be so flumina. You don't want to do that. Because otherwise she would kick your ass with a dual blade. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I have mentioned that. Before starting the stream, I've recorded an, uh, or started recording an Elder game. Something that can't be played on Twitch, but it can be played on YouTube. Sakura Sakura's 9. If anyone is into those games, either Sakura Sakura's games or just Wing Cloud games, feel free to drop by there. <clears throat> Dear Paimon, my lovely lady, this is the stronghold that Virgil has been using as fleet. I swear, guys, Virgin's still not back yet. If he's just gonna keep us waiting, I might not be able to hold myself back from this shipment of sins. Hey, cut it out. The shipment took us an arm and leg to get. Virgin will have no mercy for you. You were just taken without his permission. What the? What a pity. It would seem that my beloved friend Virgil has returned to the stronghold here. We can still have a chat with these guys, however. Hey, but this looks like they're in the mood for a chat. Hey, but I think they may, they may change their mind soon enough. What do you think, my dear Luca? No problem. Hey, are you sure there will be no problem? I would think they'll probably just try to beat you up. Oh, no, no, you are too considerate, my dear Paimon. Something like that would be most unfortunate indeed. For them, of course. Have a chat with them. That was a... Hey, Sonny boy. Why am I the only one who's, who's beating my opponent up here? Why are you not doing anything? Sonny boy. This guy can't handle one freaking. Virgil? Oh, he's alright, let's go. They always get into this shitty area, man. Wait, 
where you basically can get them. Please let me explain. This is all a misunderstanding. Master Soul, you see, my only got into space because we heard there was Bora to be made. And since the Harriab still agree with Igor, we could just earn the money first and then turn all of the profits over here. Yeah, that's exactly it. Ah, he's totally ignoring Paimon, that bastard. I'm not complaining his organization, not at all. Alright, I was also intrigued by these crooks. That's the only reason that all why he did something so foolish. Impressive, very impressive. Lumina. You are ver uh, every inch as strong as the stories have made you to be. Don't you agree, my dear Luca? Heck yeah, she's. Heck yeah, she's. Super strong. Incredibly formidable. Please, if you... Sorry. Please, if you still remember anything about the time we spent together, Mr. Stone, Mr. Luca. Hmm. Uh, please, please, no! Luca, our guests are still here. Let's not do anything discourteous that might bring down their mood. Understood. Hey, see the of your ways now, Virgil! Uh, it was my fault, it was all my fault. Please, have mercy. Okay, at least you have admitted you have done something wrong. Now make sure you won't do it again. My dear Virgil. Would never do something like that again. By Mondomina, I can promise you that on the honor of son the white loaf, as well as that of my father and son. Okay, let's go, Paimon. Hey, thank you so much, son Luca. It seems there are more good than bad people in Fontaine after all. Farewell, dear Paimon, and <coughs> lovely lady. I hope there will come a day when we will be able to work together again. Eek. Yeah, they are totally like the Mafia here, right? <laughs> Kick his ass. Don't hold back. He deserves a good beating. He really does. Okay, let's think. I doubt that would unlock anything for me. At the moment, at least. Hmm. Or maybe. Fine, let's do one quick round around. I need to find out this way. That will be the easiest way, basically. And not really the fastest way, maybe, but let's do it. Supposedly there are two quests here. I think one of them we've done, to be honest. I think it was like a pa part of something with those two guys. Where we had to take care of the pipes. Our purpose is in another account. Let's see our. I can type. If there was some co kind of achievement for this, that would be cool. Yeah, we totally did that one. We totally did this one. We have not done eye for an eye because this is apparently part of this and we kind of cannot do this. We can, but we will not. We can, but we will not. In here. There should be something. In search of lost time, we've done this. I marked it as, as done, but you know, at this point, might as well check. 
go here. Yes, we did do this stuff. Uh huh. Yep, 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 yep. Activate Malinowski, I think it was the name. Yep, Malinowski. Um, let's see. Now we can actually uh, achievement the forgotten realm. Oh. Realm. Okay. We did do this then. What about this one? Uh, complete. Fon Fontaine Research Institute questline. Fontaine Research Institute quest. Have I not done all of them? <laughs> Defeat all the mecha to start the quest. Okay, this one I did for sure. Oh. Field, shut off the field generator, talk to Raimondo. I would say I've done this. Yeah. Or maybe I haven't. Uh, crony dormitories. Did I go to dormitories? I guess. Was there an achievement for this? There was. Two achievements. The the mired. Oh, this ends here. I have this. Why do I not have this one? The Mire... Fuck. The Mire in red tape. Ooh. How do I do this? How do I get this achievement? Catherine, the achievement obtained during the World Quest Fontaine research stagnating in Rumble. Okay. To Catherine. Or approaching the two recon lock mecha near a leafy region. Catherine. Alright. Catherine. I thought that you had a quest for me before, but for some reason it was not appearing now when he approached her. I think. Cut. Are approaching the two Recon Lock Mech near the Leafy Leafy Region Statue of Seven. What is that? Leafy region. Good. Interactive map. Show me Statue of Sevens. Yeah, they are... Or marked as collected or unlocked already, so that's a little bit problematic. Can I do it here? Domains only. No. Actually, yet? No. Where is Leafy? <laughs> I literally have no idea what it is. S -s 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 
Lifey Reagan. Find the knocker. Okay, I've done this one. I remember knocker. We did big this far. This talk from Mondo shut out the experimental fear generator. Yeah, we did this. Where's my achievement? Where's my achievement? Lanti. Chisri, Sevigny, Vulnerals, a lot of you. Raimondo. How are they? Oh, projects. Wait, 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 wait. Some projects were restarted, suspended, and so on. Teachings of order. That's all I get. Seriously? Negative influence, something, something. Thanks. Boglia, Henry, the Nietzsche, and so on and so on. Huh. I don't know why I didn't get that achievement. Because I, I definitely did find... Did find the field generator. Find Crony. Oh, I know why it's not... Yeah, I think I know why it's bugged. There is something else we still need to do, I think, and... Mm. And yeah, it cannot trigger yet, kind of. Mm. Kind of. Yeah, and the world quests are kind of convoluted from time to time. Unnecessarily so. Sometimes even very unnecessarily. Okay, something would trigger... Right here. Supposed to be a guy standing on the road. And he, the other one is like here somewhere, supposedly. So this is not doing anything. Might as well visit Fontaine again. Uh, might as well go here. Steam beard. Steam. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hello. What kind of a dude is that editor, Jenk? 
Er wurde bei Yard Attitude Agent Talo Shard. I'm helping you with a problem here. And did I ask you for help? What are you two arguing about? God damn it. What good timing. Help me explain. I'm Agent Talochard for the Marichus Phantom. Investigating case at the Steambird. But this amateur keeps interfering with my drug process. I mean, just who is the investigator here? Well, it is kind of odd for an amateur to advise a professional. I was merely suggested that she know to jump to any conclusions. She's barely started investigating. She's already decided that I'm the killer. It's defamation. I'll tell you. Ooh, it does sound like defamation, but it's important to find the... Wait, killer? What happened? It was that the unfortunate newspaper police has been... You know, uh, it's so sad. What do you mean by no? He's missing, that's all. Even if he's just missing, you're still mixed up in this. And that's because you drove him away, didn't you, Editor Jenk? Let's paint the scene. An idealistic young reporter finally gets a job with the newspaper of his dreams. He learns to fight the evils of society with the power of his pen. But to his dismay, he discovers the newspaper is as corrupt as everything else. Currently, absolutely every single newspaper is. Black on of ink, black of heart. Follow stories are ignored in favor of poof pieces about popular music. His ideals are wet with lies, his dignity trampled upon. Oh, it's such a such story, sad story. Until finally one night, he awakes from a nightmare upon a tear sodden pillow and decides to flee the place that shattered his dreams. What are you, an investigator or a bad novelist? You're crawling like uh, you're crawling like a cow. So, Editor Jink, is the truth behind his disappearance? You are his boss, are you not? Yet you deny all the responsibility. Agent Talochard, your imagination knows no bounds. May I suggest you hand in your badge and take up a job at our newspaper? We also publish fantastical story, you see. Fantastical? As if my deductions are entirely plausible. I mean, sure. Agent Talochard, let me clarify. The missing employee is Sir Arthur. Me? Also, I have a third title. Yeah, that's my first name, by the way. <laughs> Ring any bells? Sir Arthur? I must hear that name somewhere. Sir Arthur is the steam bird that gives the steam bird its name, our symbol, our mascot. Oh, that one! The one who stands by the door announcing the news! That's not me. Yes, so a steam bird that can neither walk nor fly. I failed to see how I could have driven it away. Wait, blast you! Shouldn't you have mentioned that before? Do you have something against me? Look, you're the one who turned up and started accusing me of murder. If anyone has an axe to grind, grind, it's you. Oh, do stop bickering! The important thing right now is to find Sir Arthur! Yes, Paimon's right. Oh, Editor-in-Chief, El Prazi. Agent Curve, you've returned. Thank you for your help, Jenk. You may go now. Ooh, Ooh editor in chief Euphrasie, hello! Who's this? Hello, Lumin and Paimon, and this is. Hello, all, I'm Merly Curve, Agent Talosharth's assistant. You can talk? Like Sir Arthur? No, Agent Curfew Special Investigations Drone, belonging to the Marechus Phantom. He's remotely operated by someone back in the office. Isn't that the case, Agent Alshard? Hey, oh yeah, yeah, that's the case. I didn't know Fontaine had such advanced technology. Eh, well, unfortunately this isn't the time to bring you up to date on our advances much, as I would enjoy doing so. Right now I need you both to help with getting Sir Arthur back. Professional investigators! Yes, this is our case! Ahem, the thing is, Agent Alochard, neither of you are official investigators with the Marichus Phantom, are you? <laughs> the smile that is also threatening. <laughs> you, you watch what you say! This is a general in a uniform, I'll have you know! 
but as I understand it, you are simply passing by and decide to start the investigation of your own accord. I can't imagine why. I wonder if I should speak to the Marichu's phantom and... No, 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 there's no need. Okay, I admit it. What, you're impersonating Marichu's phantom agents? Well, to be honest, they're just agents who are a bit special. In any case, I'm grateful to Agent Curve, who told me some interesting things while we were investigating the local residents. Curve, what did you tell her? As you know, Agent Tatlo Chart, the most of protocols require me to answer all of Editor in Chief Euphrasis. Questions, honestly? The most of protocols? Is there some kind of customer service agreement? Ah, those pesky protocols. I don't mean to offend, offend agents, but Sir Arthur is of great importance to the Steambird, and I would like to have more professionals on the case. Lumina Paimon, for example. You want us to join the investigation? Indeed I do, and on behalf of the Steambird, I promise you will be rewarded. What do you think? We're in. Excellent, I hope you'll work together, and you will be most grateful. Okay, just don't tell the Mason we're here on the sly. Wait, you're playing hooky. Hey, let the girl have her secrets, why don't ya? Maybe, maybe when I know you better. <laughs> okay, Kerf, if you're teaming up, we should show them our notes. Please take the statements which we took from nearby residents. Oh, have you got any leads? Of course, we're good at our jobs. Okay, so we next should investigate the scene. Seraphor disappeared last night, so there should still be clues to be found. You mean like that dirty floor? Whoa. Residence testimony 2. Uh, Steambird, a drunken vagrant. I know him. That's Rocher. I've seen him near the docks. He's always begging for a drink from a vendor's there. Honestly, he wasn't like this before. And uh, Resident 1. If you're asking about anyone suspicious, I did often see a homeless drunk hanging around near the entrance of the paper service. Especially if he seems to be sleeping there every night. Interesting. Also interesting. What is it called? Vagrants and scums. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Vagrants, scums, quest, start, point. Okay. Talk to her. Okay. Questions and answers. Act 3. Act 1. Huh. Okay, I will get rid of one from the map. Before we continue this. Okay. Let, let me run somewhere else. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Nobody's waiting for us here now. I think we'll probably trigger inside. But... <laughs> I imagine. And voila. <coughs> Do that, unfortunately. Sorry. <laughs> Go to the center. <laughs> if I remember correctly, inside. Oh, 
nothing is happening here. No quests over here. Got it. Um, here we know why. Here, here we don't know, but we might check anyway. Showing up over here. Might as well have a look over here, I guess, quickly. But it doesn't look like anything is happening here for us. Yeah. Here. This one I feel like would be triggering almost instantly. As well, check, I guess. Uh, I really must avoid this location for because there is an Archon quest there. And I don't want to trigger that yet. Archon quest has to wait. For its own turn. Which will be soon enough, I believe. Which will be soon enough, I believe. Finished comedy. Hereafter. Unfinished comedy. Read a book to activate a world quest. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. It's kind of here.
wonder if we can hello I'll take that. Oh, it's not this one? Oh, it's even further. Okay. And I think precious. Yep. Drained coach. Coach. Conch. Uh, oop. Come on, market. Market! Cute. Thank you. Mita, mita. We're here to pick a quest, apparently. So. Hello. I do believe this might be the supposed quest here. Uh oh. Encyclopedia. Unfinished story. Talk to Anne. Talk to Samer. How do I get out from here? Like that? Okay. Mita Mita! Search. Saber and on. Alright, but I triggered this, so that's good. Hmm. Okay, I mean, that's a few more world quests still. But let's do backgrounds. Yeah. Let's do backgrounds. <sighs> Look for clues at the scene. One. An empty pedestal. If you look closely, you can see a notch left by sharp implement. What's this? Based on the shape and depth, the mark here was made by a small knife like sharp object. So, what is the knife now? Let's record this in our investigation notes first. Why do I feel like someone had a sh sharp knife not so long ago? A notch left behind by a sharp weapon, as for cut by a sharp, short knife or dagger. Okay. Hello. Lots and lots of footsteps. A tangle of footprints with no consistent depths of pattern. Aha! Look at all those footprints! Looks like quite a few people came by! Based on the past patterns, they belong to four different people. The papers already put a lid on this news and isolated all non-related individuals. As such, we can assume that these footprints were left behind during the crime itself. Let's record this in our investigation notes first. 
footprints, deaths, patterns overlapping for different individuals. <laughs> a letter that seems to have already been opened. The writer's desires have dissipated in the wind. Mom doesn't get it. What's with this letter? Let's record this investigation out first. Envelope, information, the letter within is already gone. Yes. It apparently is. A commonly found button that shows signs of having its thread snapped. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so we need to find someone who doesn't have a snapped button. Bottle stings. Fishy. Oi. Let me read the note. Have you searched the entire area? Uh, um, have you searched the entire scene? Are you sure you haven't missed anything? We've got so much evidence. Footprints, bottle, Paimon's brain is almost fried. Same. Let's think, Lumin. Does this give us any leads? Maybe something that tells us what to do next? <sighs> oh shit. Help Paimon sort through the evidence. What useful clues are hidden here? How many people are associated with the appearance of Sir Arthur? A dirty empty wine bottle from which a strange smell wafts, like a sea filled with salty fish. Footprints of different depths, with different patterns, intertwined and overlapping. They should belong to four different people. A commonly found button that shows signs of having its thread snapped. Testimony from a resident near the Steambird. If you're asking about anyone's patients, I did often see a homeless drunk hanging around near the entrance of the paper's office. Okay, so we can collect this one with... Test me from uh, a drunken vagrant. I know him. That's Roche. I've seen him mirror the dogs. He's always begging for the ring from the vendors. Honestly, he wasn't like this before. And if you're asking about Sansa, I did always see a little kid going to the newspaper, but he never went inside. He just mosey around the sir. Maybe he just likes toys like that. Oh, that's kind of suspicious. How many people are associated with these opinions? Who knows? This? Where the suspect can be found. What was this one? Kid. Uh, button, no signs. Footprints. I mean, I guess we could use the f footprints, right? I would say? No, fuck me. How many people are associated? Uh, four. Where can the suspect be found? Dogs? Hell yeah. I know, I. To be fair, I feel like I chose first time the kid because it kind of lit up. I was incorrect. Anyway, things are a bit clearer now, but Paimon's not sure anything we found is very useful. Paimon guesses the best lead is the Vagrant Rocher. Agree, one set of footprints must be his, right? And he sounds like the most suspicious. Why so? Well, he's a vagrant, and vagrants are meant to wander about. But he stays in one place. He's definitely up to something. Sure. Trust me, I'm right. Let's go and check out the docks. Someone said they saw him there. Dirty empty wine. Bottle. Smells like a fish. 
Oof. Oh, to the bar we go. To the bar. Ooh. Is there a fight? <clears throat> mean! Roger has to be hiding somewhere. He always so he has to pay. Find him for me. And as if not paying his debts was enough, he's made me chase after him. I'm going to trash his place and break his legs. <laughs> what are you working at? Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Stop, what are you doing, you punk? G Who are you? Mind your own business. Director for two, look at the uniform. They are the mother choose Pantom. Maybe you should fall back. I don't care about who they are. Steal yourself, man, with me! <laughs> steal yourself, yeah. Steal yourself, I agree. You didn't steal yourself enough. Manda, manda, what? Jin Taicho! Kill time! Heal and damage. Director 42, the blonde one and the robot are difficult to handle. Blasted boot, I slipped and fell. Quest Rocher, get lucky. Okay, let's move. I see Refarter Lumine. Oh, that's nothing for her. Oof, oof, oof. Poor dog. Oh, poo, 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 poo. oh, no need to thank me, Pap. We're looking for your master. Does he owe people money? Oh, oh listen, Pap. Your master took Sirafro to pay off a debt, right? Spit out. Where is he hiding? In my humble analysis, this line of questioning will fail due to language incompatibilities. The puppy looks like you have to say, yeah, obviously. Then let's search the area. The thief must be somewhere here. <laughs> Show me the route, puppy. Precious dog. A pile of bottles. Yeah. Did I just find him? <laughs> I can't believe that! Well, well, there is someone hiding in the chest! That was not a chest, but box. Don't hit me! So, Rosher! I don't have any more, not a single coin! It's okay, we chased the debt collectors off. Oh, wonderful! And what a charming Jack Melusine you are! You're right, I'm Rocher, and when I make it big, I won't forget to reward you generously! Three more, you thief! We are with the Marachus Phantom, and we're here to arrest you. You stole Serar for last night, didn't you? Confess, who did you sell it to? Me? Stole Serar for? By the Hydro Arcun, as if a person of my standing would do such a thing. And I've been hiding in the chest since yesterday evening. Oh. Oh. Oh, really? Kerf, what's the verdict? Biodata anomaly unidentified. Mr. Roger, you are lying. Me? Lying? Nonsense! Calumny! Slander! Where's the evidence? <sighs> the bottle by the steam bird. We found the bottle by the steam bird, just like those ones. You left it there, right? Even if the bottle is the same, that doesn't mean I left it there. Why? A place such as a fountain must be full of drunkards like me. Result replicated. Biodata anomaly identified. Mr. Roger, you are lying. What's with that metal bucket? If I'm going to have my honesty and nobility smeared, I want an actual person to do it. Less shouting. Listen here, Thief. We're going to turn this place upside down and shake it to see if anything else falls out. So no crack when we find something. Look then, look. Without real evidence, all you can do is insult me. Will it insult you while looking then? <laughs> Didn't expect that, huh? Hello, puppy. The puppy looks at you as if waiting for something. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Simple button, notch on the pedestal. 
No, and no, I don't have those. All right. Residence that is, yeah. I can't get out. Oh shit. Let's see. Bottle of the wine. Hey, what's he doing? He's showing us the route to the bottles. I know, he must have recognized the scent. The bottle must have Roger's scent on it. Lombroso, did you have to? Roger, the dog recognizes your scent. Do you still deny that you were at the newspaper office? Okay, calm down, won't you? And Lombroso, you traitor. Waxtail, happily a sink. I don't understand. Yeah? Okay, admit it. Wow, Kerf, you are spot on! How do you know? Can you detect liars? Correct, Miss Paimon. Really? You're a lie detector? Hey, did we talk about pranking to other people's private lives? Get to know us first. Hurry up and come clean, Roche. What do you do? But that's my private life, isn't it? How dare you? Fez up or you'll be enjoying plenty of privacy in the fortress of Maropide. No, okay, I admit. I told a few tiny little lies, but I didn't see this rare for honest. I slept by the steamboat's entrance last night, that's all. When I went to sleep, Seraphur was there, but when I woke up, it was gone, and I was worried people would suspect me, so I ran. That's not the full story, is it? We've been told you've been seen there a lot lately, planning your haste and all that. That's not true. I was going to get some work there. You know, start off picking up late air, and maybe some big wig might spot your potential, and then whoosh, your car takes off. Seems like you were uh, the one causing the litter with your stinky wine bottles. That's not going to press many big wigs, that's for sure. I don't believe it. He's lying again. It's true. Let me finish. I know how I look now, but I used to work at the Palais Mermonia. Well, it was my wife that got me the job. Her family used to be a big deal and they still have some connections. Anyway, I used to be respectable. Really? I'm not sure which is worse, begging for food or le relying on your wife. <sighs> To be fair, the relying on your wife. I mean, I would say it's not a bad thing. I mean, if a wife, wife relies on her husband, it's okay, but the other way around, it's not. No, I mean, that's weird. Don't say that! I want to become successful in my own steam, obviously, but that's when the problem started. A while back, some people offered to let me in on their business. Don't worry about startup phones. They said it, you can know us, so I signed up. But I soon... That's such a stupid thing to do. But they soon realized that the goods they were giving me were unsellable garbage. And then they started demanding I pay what I owed them. Were those the people who were here? Yeah, I didn't have any choice but to pawn things from home to get some money. Oof. But I didn't realize that what they taken belonged to my wife. Oof. Something her grandfather left her. When she realized this, I was too scared to tell her truth, so I said that I lost money gambling. She was furious and threw me out. Understandable. Huh? Why not tell the truth? Maybe she'd have forgiven you if she had known. Oh, what does this guy know about telling the truth? If he claimed he lost it gambling, he could blame bad luck. If he lost it on bad reasons, I have to admit to being a good-for-nothing loser. But when does this have... But what does this have to do with the newspaper? A month ago, Steamberg reported on a team of scammers, the elegant table were confrere. Those were the people who called me professional con artists. Who? Steamberg is pretty good at their job, huh? I know, that's why I wanted to work there. It would have been a respectable job, and I could have earned enough to get my wife's things back. Hey, Kerf, is that true? Biodata has returned to normal range. Mr. Rocher is not lying. Oh, so it really wasn't him. So did you see anything suspicious last night? Uh, I did. I was woken up by some noise, and I think I saw someone. Someone very small running away. That's suspicious, right? Someone small? The statements from the residence mentioned the young boy. Could be him. But where would we find him? If only we had a puppy to show us the way again. Lombroso, Waxtail, happily, seems to know what he's being talked about. Now that you mention it, if Lombroso hadn't, has an excellent sense of smell, why don't we see if we can pick up a scent? I'm not sure if it work, but it's worth a try. In a moment. Oh, dude, you have such a beautiful wife. What the fuck, man? Get your shit together.
Dude, if she was in a gacha, I would pull for her. <laughs> Rocher, you would no longer have a wife, okay? So you better get your shit together, man. Now we're gonna go with simple button. Where's he going? Quick, follow the puppy! And before we'll run through entire... <laughs> entire... Fontaine. <laughs> In a way that would be hilarious. Can you imagine the puppy going like... So we're gonna go here, 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 now we have to swim here, 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 and the kid is... Actually, we have to go here, 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 then go here, 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 and to Petricor. The kid is here. <laughs> and that, that would be hilarious. Annoying, but hilarious. I would not even be angry at the devs to do something like that. <laughs> Okay, I would be, but I also would appreciate that, actually. <laughs> After some time, you arrive at a certain spot with Lombroso. The puppy has stopped. Could the owner of the button live nearby? Look, look, there's someone home in that house for there. Let's go ask. House? Go to the house again. He can. <sighs> well, I don't really need to find those, but whatever. It's too late now. Ooh, some cutie pie and a kid. Madeleine, we know Madeleine. I didn't know anything. Also, I hit you all. Kevin. Oh, already. We know that's a shitty kid. Don't drown, Kevin. Ah. Sorry to interrupt. For you, what do you guys want? Don't worry, madam. We're agents from Marichu's Phantom, and we're investigating the theft. A button link to the family was found to the scene. Do you have any comments? Oh, I saw that on for Kevin just recently. But Kevin's a good chart. He couldn't possibly mix up in theft. I knew it! Madame, I get to say you have raised a thief! Dude, stop with accusations of the bad. <laughs> God damn it. Please be reasonable, my agent. Even if this is Kevin's button, all that proves is that he was at the newspaper office. And why would be here, if not to steal? Eh? Did you just say newspaper office? Yeah, how do you know that, that? That's where the theft happened. Ooh. I know, you must have misheard me. I wrote that irrefutable evidence. Don't try and lie your way out of this. You'll only make things worse for you and your old son. No, my son didn't mean to steal anything. He only took that knife to defend himself. <laughs> knife? I thought we were looking for a mechanical steamboat. You mean Sir Arthur? But Kevin only had a knife when he came home. Madame Madeleine? Why did your son go to the newspaper? What did he do there? Tell us everything. Oh, my Kevin just adores that timber outside the newspaper office. Every time we go into town, he goes to visit and tells it all his troubles. Yesterday evening, we had a bit of a fight and Kevin stormed off to the newspaper office. But this time he came back with a knife. He said he found it stuck in the timber's pedestal. So that explains that much. But why did he take the knife? He said he noticed that the surfer was missing and wanted to find it. But did some drunken man stuck it towards him, he got scared and picked up the knife. Could we see the knife? I told him to get rid of it. I was worried it might cause trouble. That knife could be a clue. We'll need to ask Kevin where it is. I wish you could, but he's run off again. We are arguing a lot at the moment. About his father. You see his father, a mechanical engineer, posted outside the city. Kevin hasn't seen him for a long time. He's having a bit of an early rebellious face. He's furious with his father for not being here. A problem child, huh? Not easy to deal with still. We we'll need to find him and ask about the knife. Don't worry, Gero. Don't worry, Gero. We'll, we'll... 
We'll take care of it. He will not cause any more trouble after getting a little whooping in the ass. Kids these days. Not enough whooping. It's a fact. Come on. <laughs> Did that little freaking Melusin just say that it would be okay for the kid to be eaten by the slimes? <laughs> Who are you? Why are you making such an holy rocket? You, you might want to try saying thanks, we just saved you. Thanks! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> What's up? Why the angry face? You gonna hit me? With pleasure, to be honest, if you act like that. Gee, the thumping would do a go good, but we're professionals. But it's just Phantom again. Agents, we don't beat people in public. However, in private, it's a different story. But we do need to ask some questions. You keep fighting things. And if you're we'll have to take you in. And then, well, we won't be in public, will we? Nice. Take me in! Sure, go ahead! Take him in too! Hey, hey, who's that? Bolandi, that's his name. You should ask him too. <sighs> Is that your father? I wish he wasn't. I haven't seen him for a year. Ah, no wonder Madame Madeleine said this guy used to complain to Sir Arthur. But I'm guessing that's the root of the problem. Complain, that's a laugh. I was working on how to set up these speech patterns. You have to realize, I guess, that everything he says is programmed in advance. As soon as I figure out how to do it, I'm going to program him to say Borland is a big fat weasel all day every day. So that's why you're hanging out next to Sir Arthur. Wow, you're really a problem child. We should whoop his ass. But Sir Arthur disappeared last night, so I won't be able to finish my research. I know what took him. We don't think I took him, do you? Sure, I'm a problem child, but stealing Michael Steinbert isn't one of those problems. Stealing a knife for is... In my humble analysis, Mr. Kevin, you have come into contact with a knife. Oh wait, the robot can speak! How does it do that? Isn't it the same as same Sir Arthur? Shows how much you know. Kev is much more sophisticated than Arthur, sir. For a start, he doesn't need to be told what to say. Whoa, you're awesome, Kev. Hey, could you say something for me? Say, Bolon is a big fat weasel. I know you can do it. First, you must prove that that said statement is true. Prove it! What the hell means you can do it? You suck, even Sir Arthur could say that. Do not. Do not confuse Kerf with others, he's no liar. Hey, what else can I tell you about the knife if he said it, but he didn't, so the deal of... Listen, brat, I don't think you understand. You find Sir Arthur, you can carry on with your plan to slander your father, right? We're on the same side here. Oh, that makes sense. So! Okay, I'll tell you. And you... I threw the knife into the sea. I'll mark the spot on your map. Now hurry up and suffer. We should beat that kid. That's more like it, kid. Is there anything else you should tell us? The more we know, the faster we can find Sir Arthur. Uh, let me, I went to the seabird, but Sir Arthur wasn't there. Instead, there was that knife. Then the drunk man came at me, so I panicked and grabbed the knife to frighten him off. That's it. So that's what happened. Can you spot any problems? In my humble analysis, Kevin is not lying. But I did notice anomalies with Madame Madeleine's pupil dilation briefing earlier. <laughs> was she lying? I am unable to confirm that. There was, however, a data fluctuation when she told us that his father's mechanical engineer posted outside the city. <sighs> it's Risha. Hey, hey, explain that. She was lying. Papa, Pop doesn't know a spring from a spanner, as if he could be an engineer. My mother's a very experienced liar. She practices on me every day. You see, so you, won't be, you wouldn't be able to tell. A little while ago, she brought a puppy home and said it was a present for my father, but I snuck a look at the letters and it was from some other man. Ooh. Well, maybe that man is your new father, right? So, congrats, kid. I hope your new father does a better job than the old drunken leech. Huh, I might not like what you say, but at least you're being straight with me. I wish my mom would do that. Kevin, don't dwell on that. Your mother is just trying to protect you. She's worried you won't be able to cope if you had to deal with too much all at once. I don't want to know. It's knowing the things. It's not things that causes all my problems. No, 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 no. It's exactly the opposite. Your problems come from not knowing enough. Not knowing enough. For example, you still don't know that humans lie constantly. Your mother, father, even you. That's the answer to your problem, kid. And when you realize that, you stop having such high expectations. They will be a kid with answers, no problems. Oh, answers. I'm feeling kind of attacked. 
Oh, do you disagree? Unless you've never even told a lie, a single lie. Forget it. I don't need to know the answer. I'd rather, I'd rather like you right now. So let's not spoil the beautiful moment. You really do? The important thing is to find a knife. We've got to go, kid. Think about what I said, and you'll find the answers you need. Don't listen to her, Kevin. Don't listen to her, Kevin. Listen to Paimon. Go home and have a good talk with your mom. If she lied to you, it's because you, she had a good reason. I know. Maybe you should go home. Yeah. Do it, or I'm gonna beat you up. Not in a way I'm beating up like full twist and so on. But we need to whoop that kid's ass. He's terrible kid. Also, I think Madeleine totally decided to marry a wrong guy. Who basically in a way wastes her life, some sort of thing. So this is where Kevin got real knife. I don't think it's time to get wet. I could, but Kev can't go underwater. Of course, that I, that I need to stay here with him. Sorry, it's it's up all to you, dude. Kev is not that tall. I thought that freaking thing would be bigger. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> you know what? We already met a robot dog, and he could swim. Paimon guesses Kev isn't that advanced. How dare you suggest Kurf is less advanced than the dog? He's just not feeling very well. What was the dog's name anyway? When Kurf is better, we'll have competition and wins. Wow, someone's being unnecessarily competitive. In my humble opinion, we should be looking for evidence. Never mind, let's go diving, Lumina. We need clues. <sighs> Adios. Okay, but I need to use this. And we slow down. Oh, what a convenient place for a rock that we should probably break. Oh, surprisingly enough, there was no knife here. That's very surprising, actually. That is crazy surprising, but you see, there is something shining here. Oh, it's not here still? Oh, that's suspicious. Hmm. Well, well, well. If I were a knife, I would yeah. definitely not be here. I don't have the power up anymore, but it's fine. We have another rock right here, you see. Oh, would you look at that? Could it be that we found what we were looking for? Water stained dinner knife. A water stained knife. It seems to be a piece of high quality silverware. For some reason it shows signs of rusting. Then definitely not high quality. I mean, unless... Whatever, maybe high quality but super old. I've never seen a rusting knife. At least, when it comes to, you know, real life. No, none of my cutlery basically ever rusted. We're back. Tushat, Tushat, here we've got the knife, here take a look. Oh, this could match up with the notch on the pedestal, but just an ordinary table knife. Why would any criminal carry on one like that? Don't know. How would I know? I'm not from freaking Middle East, and I don't live in England and France to answer you that question. Eh, maybe they ate at the restaurant and stole knife there. They dropped it at the scene of the crime. It gives you deductive skills one point out of thousand. Relevant info retrieved. Month ago, Steamberg exposed a case of fraud involving the elegant tableware confrere. 
the, uh, the eleventh table where Confrerie. Oh, I remember that night that like this was part of the evidence gathered. Ha! That must be responsible. <laughs> she hears one thing and he's like, Yeah, that's the culprit. There you go again with the most. Be responsible. Really? We can head back to the office and confirm it. We've got enough time left today. Eh, I thought you to really... You weren't really investigators. Can you really check up on other cases? Okay, I guess we're kind of friends now, so I'll tell you. I'm an evidence clerk with the Merchus Phantom. As such, getting a piece of evidence from the stores is easy peasy. Eh, what? Is that even a job? I don't know what I clicked. Evidence indeed. Wow, the evidence is running around solving cases. Why, why not? You aren't even evidence, you, that you're doing the same. But did the editor in chief and Fra Z say something about Kerr being remotely appropriated? She was helping maintain Kerr's cover. She doesn't know his story, which is that he's a lie detecting robot. But it, that's hard to believe. How come Paimon's never heard of something that incredible? Because he's been stuck in the evidence storeroom. Kerf is a vital piece of evidence in a case dating back 30 years. Oh, so are you secretly investigating the shocking crime to identify the true perpetrator? Still two more. Steam pad. There should be two more. Oh. I should have talked to the mother again, I guess. <sighs> as if... As if my life... Wait, I think I... So you're a secretly investigating a shocking crime to identify the true perpetrator? As if my life... That's exciting. I just got bored and said to take Kerf out for a walk. And that's it? Kerf, what do you think? Biodata anomaly identified against Tolshart. You are lying. Okay. Ah, <sighs> Lumina. I just think I was starting to like you. And I was using the most protocols loopholes against me. The what protocols now? You mentioned those earlier or something, didn't you? My great creator, the Termoso, added some rules to my core programming to ensure the accuracy of my lie detection. Those rules require me to answer all questions with complete accuracy and honesty. Nice. So it can detect a lie but not tell one. And if someone asks you a question, you're obliged to answer it? Correct, Miss Paimon. What clever rules? So is this Masuka some top scientist in the Fontaine Research Institute? He was a top scientist until he passed away. He died 30 years ago and care became evidence. He died? How? That was loud as fuck. Sorry. Relevant information drift. Dr. Mosso died in a duel attempting to prove his innocence after a court found him guilty. Oof. Why Why was he found guilty? Relevant information retrieved 30 years ago. Stop, stop, stop. You keep asking questions. If you keep asking questions, Kerr has to keep answering them. Our party should be finding Sarafur. Editor-in-chief Emphrasi will be too upset to eat if we don't find him. Paimon finds that unlikely. Well, well anyway, Kerr and I are going to see what we can find out about the knife. Let's f meet first thing tomorrow at the Palais Marmonia. But I'm so curious, could you indulge here in these ones? We'll indulge, you to we'll indulge you tomorrow. How about we make a delicious breakfast? Ooh, breakfast? Okay, looking forward to it already, hehe. <laughs> see you tomorrow morning then. Okay, if I'm gone, Paimon can help us feel there's something going on there. For <coughs> Sorry. Best not to stick your nose into other people's private lives. You can be nosy about the tomorrow. Now, yeah, let's go first one. Yeah, it's been a busy day. We should get, uh, go get some rest. We'll leave the police Barbonia tomorrow. Hey, we're not talking. Okay, can't talk about that outside. I don't mean to be offensive, but there is not much of an inside over here as well. To be fair, for I'd take it. Dude, I'd take this place. By the sea. Cool. First part, by the sea. Cool. You have basically your own pier. 
absolutely fantastic. And you have a little uh, tent. Maybe not. It's not their actual house, to be fair. For <sighs> I guess the father is doing terribly. So yeah, it's totally her, by the way, from the photo. Hmm. She has to deal with everything on her own. But still, dude, you know what? This place is top, top class overall. When can I move in? <laughs> when can I move in? Uh... <laughs> Following morning at eight. Actually, I feel kind of sleepy, not gonna lie. Also, my left eye is kinda stinging. Oh, it's here. Interesting, interesting. Lionel, Cornelia. Oh, it's this. Answering machine act 2. Alright, 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 Wait a second. Background sense can walk as part of the question must be answering act 1. Hmm. Okay, so we got this. We also got this. Questioning cleansing and answering machine, right? Yeah. This one is something else. This one is questions and answers. I don't remember if it was questions or answers or not. Probably not. But if we go and do this, we will trigger <coughs> Act 2 of this. Alright. Morning, morning. Good morning. Morning, hey Tulshan, how come there's no desk in here? <laughs> there is, just isn't. We don't need desks for our work anyway. And this bench is awesome. Look, it is comfy cushions. Sit down quick, come try the delicious breakfast I made for you. Oh, I know what you've made. I recognize this dish. <laughs> we actually prepared this thing today. Thanks, Toshan, but what is this? It smells a lot. Come on, Bynon, you already know this. That's my special poison shant pie. It's even tastier than the usual recipe. It does smell odd, but that's why it's special. Eh, uh, you've piqued Bynon's interest. What about you, Lumina? Kerf, what do you think? An analysis of the composition decades. Eating this could be a difficult trial. Forget it, I'll try it. Uh, I'll let you try it, Bynon. You're tougher than me. Awesome, we're real tough cookies. Let's go. Then let's dig in! You and Paimon wolf down half portion of the odd stunning pie. Half an hour later, you both come back from outside, clutching your bellies. Just where did you two disappear to? If you're still hungry, there's more. I met lots. Thanks, Talosha. No need for. Paimon just went for a quick rest, and there is still some pie left. Ugh! Lumina, why don't we box it up for later? Um, your expressions wasn't it tasty? I thought I did a good job. 
Perhaps you're tough enough. Paimon knows why they call it Poison Chant Pai now. The poison are in Paimon's guts chanting, we wanna swim back out. <laughs> huh? Oh, that sounds absolutely awful. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Paimon's better already anyway. The problem is Paimon's preference is not your cooking. Back to business. Did you get any info about the knife? Oh, right, right. Paimon's forgot about what we were supposed to be working on. <laughs> that robot is so twitchy, by the way. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so about that. We did find something might, that might be useful. This is a knife from the elegant table confrerie. The people who said Rocher of the money? Yeah, yeah. They masquerade as a legitimate business, claiming their tableware is favored by Fontaine's upper class and can be sold for hefty sums. People like Rocher often fall for it. They pay a fee to join and get a pile of lousy tableware in return. Then they try to sell it for enough to make it back their initial investment and then some. But the tableware itself is unsolvable junk, so the victims have no choice but to find other fools to pass the bait onto. I hear they call it expanding their downline network. Sounds pretty familiar. See, humans are creatures full of lies. But it seems like Rochet didn't expand this downline network. It seems of ethical human relations. Mr. Rocher's morals exceed the level of the average person. He didn't continue to bring in more victims. Okay, so maybe his wife isn't the worst judge of character? Mm, kind of. But he, but his financial acumen is way, way below the average. In the end, his poor wife had to deal with the fallout and took the losses. Timeless welcome! How are you faring? How are you faring? It's been a moment. Ah, that's true! But weren't they exposed by the paper? Can you guys track down the money and help them recover their losses? Our colleagues got involved some time ago and made multiple arrests, but the ringleader is crafty one and immediately claimed that the perpetrators of the scam were Temporary employees. Damn it. Most importantly, he kept all their uh, accountants completely separate. As a result, recovering the losses has proven extremely difficult. Is there nothing you can do about it? Hey, hey, we can push things forward today. I got the location of their possible hideout and I'll be investigated it later. Why, wow, you found her there? Hmm, the Marichu's Phantom is more capable than you think. Considering the facts of this case, I now have reason to believe that Seraru was stolen by the elegant table confrere. Oh, wait, that sounds very likely. It's best if you don't act so certain of it. Hey, well, we'll know once we get there. Let's go! And the whistle goes. Water strain updated. Alright. My sleep is fixed. I mean... You wouldn't be here if it was fixed, right? <laughs> Mostly, yeah. Mostly, that's good. Mostly it's better than not at all, right? <laughs> Mine certainly isn't. But it's fine. For the time being, it's fine, I guess. Alright, Gravekeeper, Fading Veteran. Not now. We are hunting the elegant tableware confrerie. <laughs> what a name. What a name. Ferti is still kinda young. Thanks, Paimon. Ferret is not young. Not thanks, Taloshard. God damn it. Wait here! I was doing a summer job and it was a load, so that pretty much got it back on track. But now I got back pain. Ugh. Oh, this is the same location as previously with that other quest. Funny. Yeah. I imagine summer job can lead to that. Yeah. Because summer job usually means a physical kind of job, so... I'm not surprised. Let's see, let's see. Sure, a lot of them in there. What should we do? Charge in, beat them up, make them confess? Don't be so violent, Paimon. Why not? 
They've already frightened them on the edge. They might destroy the evidence if we give them another scare. Hmm, that's true. Let's sneak in, find the evidence, and beat them up. <sighs> I don't like sneaking around. Neither does Paimon, so is it possible to distract them? There must be something here that we can use. Care, hide and wait for us here. You're too big to not to get spotted. Just come over once we're done. As you wish. Then let's hurry up and figure out how to lure them away. <coughs> <coughs> Covertly find a way to distract the crowd. What if Paimon hides inside and makes some noise? Give it a try, girl. <laughs> Someone's over there! By the chest! Intruder alert! This, this plant's way too dump. Thanks, Paimon. Okay, so that doesn't work. Investigate. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 Paimon, no. We already know. We already know that will not work. Hmm. Seems like we should climb up there. No idea what I agree again. This pot has chicken legs in it. Someone cooking? How about hiding some seasoning? We put them to sleep after their meal. Or we can do something else to drive, the, drive, drive them away. Ooh, let's go. Nice idea. Check your back for any soul seasoning, let me know. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow, Paimon has a feeling it will be super effective. Hey, how could you put it in there? It's an insult to my culinary talents. Talents. You're not at Raiden's level, but if you continue this way... Yeah. Don't be mad, Talushat. Your cooking might end up making a very significant contribution here. My most certain they won't be able to overcome the trial of toughness it poses. Ready? Then fine, let's hide and watch what happens. Once show time is shouted, the entire elegant table concentrated really starts gulping down the food with extra seasoning. <coughs> Sorry. It doesn't take long before, one by one, subtle changes begin to appear on their faces, and then they start running towards the exit while their hands clutching their stomachs. <laughs> Adios. See the Lushard, they're experiencing the power of poison chant pie, just like I said. Hehe, <laughs> I'm incredible. I go with Kerf. Now we can search for evidence to our heart's content. You bet. Because they will not be returning anytime soon. Arcanic clock or locket, quite old. What's this lock? It looks like it opens. Oh. There's a photo. Who is she? Don't ask me. Database responding. Database responding. Database responding. Failed to retrieve info. Jean, timeless, good night. Thanks for dropping by for a second. And have a great week. Have a great week as well. We're barely starting after all. Retrie Retrieval fa failed. Curve, your database wouldn't respond without having relevant information, right? Did we? Did Watergate decide you? Let's put this away for them. I'll let Curve take a look later. Look at. I mean, I feel like the photo might be important as well. But well. I'm not much of a detective. Overall. 
Overwhelming amount of tableware is scattered over the table in a mess, yet charming pile that's ripe for the taking. Ah, a table knife! Just like the one left outside the steam bird! It must... it must be them! <laughs> of course you would say that. Of course you would say that. Hmm. Thing is, I don't see any sparkle. Oh. After getting the boot from the Order of the Fruit, I was slowly down in the dumps. Luckily, I've joined a new group, so I'm feeling a little better. This new group's operations are different from the last ones. Anyway, let's go interpret Bulberry. Crafty Bull Fruit, my brother. Oh. You're always in my thoughts. Oh. We know him from a different quest. I can't believe the higher ups sent Kyle Lily to hunt you down just for the formula of that stupid potion. I guess you're a plum out of luck now, huh? Don't worry, I made a big rakus in order of the fruit in your defense. They may kick me out over it, but I've got no regrets. I only hope your soul can rest in peace. No one else knows this, but I've also put lots of bull fruits in my new home to remember you by. Looks like only four of the five great operatives of the order of the fruit now remain. I found this my first mission, to get money of some guy named Trouchet. The old dog has got no shame, refusing to repay his debts like that. I went out there and socked him twice before he got up the pile of junk. The only thing in there that looked like a kid could be worth anything was this locket. It looked like a woman's, surely not his wife's, right? Unbelievable. Who in their right mind would marry a guy like that? Seems like something happened today. Directors 2 through 41 were all taken away. Supposedly the steam bird blew the lid of our business and got the Marjus pound of revolt. Luckily I'm new, so I'm safe for now, but I don't get it. Aren't we just regular cutlery business? Whatever it doesn't matter. Oh, this guy is deep in trouble. To repay the boss's kindness, my first order of business is to pay the paper a little visit. Ador I'd originally planned to tear them a new one, but the boss says that we should keep a low profile for now. I guess I'll start with the dumb bird at the door then. A knife through that bird's head should send them the message loud and clear, right? Since the other directors were taken away, I'll go to the boss after the job's done, tell him what I've done. He'll be happy. He might even give him promotion. Let's go. Interpret it while away. You idiot. This guy. We cook this. Who cooked today? Fight him and kill him. Boss, boss. Boss, I'll immediately. I'll go find the cook. Hey, this agent right here is today's chef, so who's going to kill me? Marichus Pantom! Agents! How did... <laughs> how did you get in here? I don't think we've got time to worry about that right now. We obtained evidence of your crimes. Evidence? But officer, all of them were temporary workers. And didn't you arrest them already? We're working on another case right now. All of you are suspects in a plot to get revenge against the steam bird by stealing Sir Arthur. Oh, paper. Impossible! I've never held any grudges toward them. In fact, I even want to thank them for pointing out the flaws in our business model. You're good with words, but what will you do once we show you this? You mean... Oh, update? I mean, I bet it's this, right? See? Director 42 admitted in the diary, busted! You fool! Didn't that tell you to keep a low profile for now? But boss, are we supposed to just lie down take it when we're bully bullying us like this? The Marchuse Pantom officer will all due respect this fool is just a temporary employee. He hasn't even passed his probation period since he's suspected of breaking the law and committing crime. I have no choice but to fire him in the spirit of justice. Hey, how much longer are you planning on using the same old trick? Fire me! Why, boss? Then you just say that I'm the only one here who has always been loyal to you. Who are you? What are you talking about? You're fired. We have nothing to do with each other from now on. Take him away, honored agents. He's all yours. Boss, you, you betrayed me. Uh, you dirty double-timey dog. I'll take you down with me. Might as well watch it, I guess. We have first top seats. No need to participate in this. Ah, fine. 
I think they won't even attack me, it seems like. They are focused on each other. That's one. Oh, you decided to attack me in the end, huh? That's true. <laughs> How dare you go against me? You filthy traitor smooth, you can't stop me. Alright, alright, that's enough. Just play nicely, okay? Now, would you? Hey, redhead, hurry up and fizz up. Where is our food? Hey, cut it out, shorty. I'm not on your side either, unless you're willing to do me a favor. Help me convict this traitorous backstabbing thief of a felony and make the rest of his life a living hell. Then I'll try my best to cooperate with you. Heh! <laughs> the Maruches Phantom never negotiates with criminals, but with the evidence we already have, the quality of the rest of his life won't be too different from what you are hoping for. Oh, wrong. Like always. He! Please don't do that! So, are you going to come clean now? Alright, fine. I'll tell you everything. I didn't actually take Sir Arthur. I know it's strange, but someone got it before me, so I just stuck the knife there as a warning. <laughs> and before, like, it was taken by actual worker of the newspaper for some repairs or whatever. Hey, it was there! You're lying, right? Harry, you got this scarf! It's your time to shine! No anomalies detected in Mr. Intrepid Wolberry's data. What? It really wasn't his red hat, I... So do you see anything at the scene? I was already smelly drunk lying on the ground, just like the Depth Rocher. Depth or Rocher. All I would was to stay well away from him. Then it's Rocher, right? Is there no one else? Even if there's nobody, you're gonna have to give us someone. You cut short the trail we were following, and you're going to have to take responsibility for it. That would just make things difficult for me. You can do it! Mr. Imperative Wolverine, you even fought back against your own boss! Fine, you're right. Let me get over for a moment. Uh, Director 42, can I say something? What? Do you have any leads? No, I don't. Then just wait a minute. Can you see that I'm rocking my brains right now? Oh, 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 I've got it. I just remembered something. I went to the Fluix and Rain in search of Loxme because I needed her help to break into the paper's office at night and wreak havoc. But what did you know? I ran to someone there who was also trying to find a way to sneak into the paper. Who was it? Was the, what was their name? I know, but he was dressed like a member of the Fool Toy. <sighs> the Fool Toy? Damn again! God damn it! Justice may be absent, but the Fool Toy never are. <sighs> and what did he do after that? How would I know? I'm not sure. I'm not some sewer stalker. This time it's certain he's the one who stole Sir Arthur. <sighs> oh, but every certainty of yours have you wrong so far. He's certainly different this time, don't you remember? There were four pairs of footprints at the scene, so there were four suspects at most. The fat Fultui, Fultus, is the fourth suspect. What if it isn't him? Hey, don't look down on me. I'll bet my you for a minute, alright? If I'm wrong again, I'll quit and stay home. Calm down, alright? Let's not be too hasty. Ray, Redhead, can you find that guy? 
Why don't you just try locking Flu Sindri? I've seen him there one uh, on more than one occasion. Someone, why this guy? Why did this guy run away? Someone dressed as photos in the Flu Sindri. If he is there, he won't be difficult to spot. All right, let's do that. We'll take these criminals back first, and then head over to Flu Sindri. Don't forget your promise. You'd better convict the two-timing traitor. Pin him to the wall. Don't worry. Neither of you is going anywhere. Hey, wait, where is he? Where did the boss go? He was just here a moment ago. Eh, well, he snuck off in that direction while you were distracted. Dude, I just pointed that out as well. What? Why didn't you say something sooner? Well, I wanted to, but you kind of stopped me, didn't you? That sneaky conniving dandy he knew his life would be living hell. So he fled. Hey, how about you let me go and get him for you? Let you go. What do you think, Kerf? Based on my analysis, Mr. Wolberry's data, he's telling the truth. Then get going, Redhead. Don't disappoint us. Hmm, don't worry. I give you my word of the men. Let's go, Redhead. Really? Are we just gonna let him go just like that? What's wrong with that? If someone deceives another, shouldn't we support the victim in getting their revenge? I know what it's like to feel angry about her being tricked. Oh, Kerf, you should be taking note on this. As you wish, I have recorded this behavioral and psychological data of everyone involved in my lie learning module. Then let's stop wasting time here. Our primary objective is to take the others back to the Merche, Merchese Phantom, and then get to the Flu Sindri. You escort the criminals, the one moment's rest, you may rush to the Sindri, the hunting grounds of the other suspect. Oh, we are underground. We've never been underground, I think. At least not during the stream. However, considering that it's already after 4 in the morning, we'll put a pause to it. And we shall return next time to continue. We have this. We also have unfinished story and the final question. We are good to go. We are good to go still. But that will be it for tonight. Hope you don't mind. And if you mind, then, well. I will manage to leave with that. <laughs> okay, let's get some music on, I guess. So, considering that I assume tomorrow will Genshin will be updating. If tomorrow there will be a stream, we'll play Zenless. If not, then... You can still safely go to YouTube's because over there a video is basically every day. And we'll be playing Sakura Sakura's 9! That's about it. Ooh. I think I, I got onto a good track over here. So I'll let you listen to it and I'm out. Uh, everyone have a wonderful week. <laughs>